uh, the Peterson Museum in, uh, in Los Angeles. So uh, I, I'm here for Anime Expo, and it's actually the convention center is actually not that far from uh, from the Peterson Museum. So here it is. It's a, it's, they've got a cool building. I got a video of me riding around it. Uh, you guys probably saw it already. All right, so I wanted to come but, uh, here and check out the electric motorcycle exhibit they got going on right now. So uh, let's go in there and check it out. Okay, so here we are at the entrance, uh, and they already got like a bunch of like movie vehicles and stuff around here. That's from the movie Prometheus there, and if you could recognize that, that's the Jurassic Park uh, tour vehicle. Okay. So let's let's go inside. All right, he's back here. So uh, so yeah, I got an email from Energico a while ago saying that there was going to be an electric motorcycle exhibit at the Peterson Museum. So I was like, oh, you know, Hades Omega Mega being the electric motorcycle. Uh, aficionado he is uh, wanted to go check it out so so I got my chance when I went to anime expo so there it is let's go check it out okay so this is the Omega racer I've never heard of this bike before but uh it looks like an electric it's a land speed record bike is what it is um, so it's a 2000 and it's built in 2009 by a company named AirTech by Kent Riches and these are the specs right there you can pause them if you want it has a range of five miles, so it can't go very far, but it can go there pretty fast. <laughs> it doesn't say if it put any records out. And there it is. It's got like, you know, it's got a really full fairing on it. And when I say full, I mean full. It's got a little boat tail. That looks like the motor right there. Yeah. It's huge. I think it's water cooled also. Or some kind of cool. The handlebars not very good for turning. There's a battery. There's a battery disconnector right there. <laughs> Just plug it in and use. There's a lever to actually help you push it in there. Awesome. Okay, so uh, these two bikes here, pretty familiar. I've actually seen one in real life. Um, I got to at a bike night. These are the, uh, this is the Lightning LS218. It's supposedly the fastest uh, production motorcycle in the world. I don't know if it is currently, but it, it, it does hold that title. Um, so that there is just a regular LS218. And this one here, this is the, this is the one they use to race Pikes Peak. Uh, if you watch the movie uh, on any Sunday too, um, you'll see this bike when they race it. Oh yeah, there you go. And the reason they call it a 218 is because that's the that's so has fast that's its top speed. <laughs> it goes can go 218 miles an hour. Can we pause this. Pause for specs. There's a Spectre to Pike Speed Racer. So yeah, I guess supposedly in, in 2013 this bike won Pike's Peak's uh, International Hill Climb and, uh, and it beat all the internal combustion engines. So pretty cool. um, like I said, I watch on any Sunday too and they have like a, there's like a section on it, so a little video clip. Alright. Dope. Okay, so hey, I guess I've actually seen one of these too. I saw these at a World Superbike last year. I don't know if this is the exact one, but uh, 
This is the Ego Corsa. This is the one they use in the new uh, Moto Moto E GP. So, yeah, pretty much. It's a 2019 Ego Corsa. So this is like the most Swedish design of a bike. It's a very fast bike. Uh, I've ridden with these on the track, and uh, the impulse cannot keep up with them. <laughs> I've actually ridden uh, an Evo also. So. There it is. It's got slicks for racing. And then, So interesting to note, you can actually buy one of these bikes. You can buy one. You can buy one, but not not the racing. Maybe you could buy a racing one. You'd have to ask uh, Energica about that. But you can buy an Ego, which is very similar to this. It's it's very similar to this. And, uh, not too much. There's specs if you want to pause. Uh, also, uh, this, as of this video, uh, they have been racing the, the Moto E uh, championship have started. So. Cool. Okay, Exciting so time. right above the Ego Corsa here is the Swigs electric motorcycle. There it is. So, this is a land speed record bike. It can run 40 miles at full power. So, it, that's the range, so that's uh, pretty damn good. <laughs> so you can get a little thing to rest your helmet, chin rest on when you're, <laughs> when you're tucked in. Cool. It looks like a regular motorcycle. Um, yeah, I think it's kind of hidden in the fairings and stuff. It's chain drive. And, Okay, so this bike is called the Quick Silver. Um, it's a 1973 electric uh, land speed bike. It looks like, yeah, it's a land speed racer. Um, it's built by uh, Mike Corbin. And uh, it's like a speed of 201 miles per hour in 1973. And it's built using lead acid batteries. So just imagine if it was lithium ion batteries. <laughs> it would be super fast in these times. Using 1973 technology, so as you can see, electric bikes have not been, have uh, have been around for a lot longer than you think they've been. Specs right there. Haunted. Built by Mark Corbin and Hollister. Is that like the Corbin, the uh, like Corbin seats and stuff? I know Corbin is in uh, Hollister. It's built by Alta Motors. So you just have, if you guys don't know, they're the ones that made the Redshift uh, electric dirt bikes. Um, yeah, so you can see it has some Alta components on it. So pretty. And there's a uh, looks like there's some kind of like a like a drive shaft or a gear reduction system. You see this kind of it's clear. You can see the wheel and stuff. And it looks like. It looks like it's for riding in a straight line. <laughs>
bicycle. Like pretty big one with fat tires on it. Looks like it's got a hub motor on it, maybe. I don't, know, I don't see any any wires anywhere. Oh yeah, right here. You see the wire go into the axle of this motor here. It's called a Super 73. A lot of space in the center. So you can see the batteries up here. There's no, uh, there's no like uh, information on it. It's kind of just. I'm just looking at it. It's got a, you know, you can pedal, so it's an e like It's an electric bicycle. It's fat tires. They're like a 20 inch. It's got a light on it. Cool. Okay, so here's a bike that's coming out very soon. This is the Harley Davidson Livewire. This must be one of their like one of the early, early bikes maybe. It's got like it looks like it looks like a huge battery pack, and it's got like fins on it and stuff. And it looks like the motor is down here. It's got Brembo brakes, upright bars. It's very a very it's a lot sportier than I. And I thought it would be. Yeah, it's it's a really sporty riding position. It's kind of kind of got like a hugger type fender almost. It's a belt drive. Their belt is not on there though. <laughs> it's kind of missing. There's a power belt right there. It's a power pulley. <clears throat> Brake lever. This looks like the motor down here. It's got Showa suspensions. Specs right there. 2020. Maybe this is the produ oh, this is a production bike. So you can actually buy these in August. Uh, they're supposedly going to start selling them in August. This is uh, Harley Davidson uh, electric motorcycle. Also, I'm surprised they don't have the bike from the Avengers movie because <laughs> they have like movie bikes here. So this is the E Hooligan, built by Roland Sands Design in Los Alamitos. Well, as I said, it was uh, made by Super 73, like that bike up there, way over yonder that we looked at earlier. There it is. It's got slicks on it. It's got like kind of like that. It's the nothing inside of the frame type of look they're going for. It looks like they're hiding the battery in here. I bet you the battery's in there because the other one, the battery was right there. So I think it's based off of that Super 73 that's up there. And it's got a hub, large hub motor here with 20 inch wheels. And this one does not have pedals. So it's just, uh, this is a legit motorcycle right here. And it's like got some really low clip-ons and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's a prototype bike. It has a one kilowatt rear hub, hub motor and a 14.5 amp hour uh, battery pack. It's 48 volts. So. So my um, my light B has more voltage than this. <laughs> it has a top speed of 20 miles per hour. So my light B is faster than this too. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. They built it. They built it last this year. <laughs> cool. All right. So this is the Zeus built by Curtis Motorcycles. It's a 2018 Zeus. It's a prototype bike. Um, has 190 horsepower with twin motors. Take a look. Let's see if we can find both of the motors. Uh, has a 14.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. It can hit 180 miles per hour depending on the gearing. And it has a range of 280. It's 
pretty damn good. I wonder how much it costs. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm wondering. Looks very... Looks like it was made out of Lego blocks. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say. There you go. It's got a huge, huge rear tire. Pirelli Diablo Bosos. Here's one of the motors right here. This huge motor right here. <coughs> it's got a huge chain too. And I think, yeah, I wonder, it's, a, it's a dual motor, but I can't find the other motor. Maybe it's in there somewhere. <laughs> uh, it's got some interesting looking brakes here. They're really thick. It's got spoke wheels. It's got LED headlight. It's got an interesting uh, front suspension. There's like a you know like a rear. What looks like the rear shock on most motorcycles is on the front. It's kind of got a drag bar. Very uh, very cool metal parts on this bike. It's got a tablet. Shock right there. Race tech shock. It's got a lot of nice metal bits on it, that's for sure. Oh, ho, hey, look at this. Okay, so this is the Mission 1. So if you guys haven't seen my, uh, my Mission Motors video, check that out. I'll put that at the end of the video, in fact. Um, so I actually got to see the the newer version of this bike um, at the racetrack one day. Um, but this is their prototype bike, the Mission 1. It was built in 2009. Um, it has a 100 kilowatt motor, oil cools AC induction, uh, oil cooled motor. It has an 11.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. You can hit a speed of 150 miles per hour plus. And it has a range of 75 miles at 55 miles per hour. This is one of the early bikes. And uh, if you want to learn more about it, um, check out, or, or if you want to learn more about Mission Motors, uh, check out my video on that I made about it. This is a uh, called the Racer X. It's built in 2019, also. Salt Lake City, Utah, by a man named Mark Atkinson. It's a custom electric motorcycle. And it uses Nissan Leaf battery packs, by the way. So it has a hubless, hubless motor. Interesting. There's like a chain that kind of like it pulls it. I don't even know where you would sit. I think that's the seat right there. It uses a lot. It's pretty much a lot of metal and carbon fiber. It looks like it is a two-wheel drive also because it has a looks like it has a drive system on both wheels. I never heard of this bike before. Pretty exciting. That's how it looks like when you're riding it. Here, I was looking at this bike again, and this is a one rad bike, this, just the way it works. So I just kind of wanted to go over how it works. Um, so, so there's like a little, there's a chain ring here that the wheel spins around. Spins around. And, um, and then this is like your, kind of like your, your drivetrain sort of like it. 
So this, the back wheel, it gets its power from, I think it gets the motor, yes, yeah, so, so see, I, I see a motor like back there somewhere. There's a motor back there. And, uh, and it, it, there's like a, there's a chain and then there's the, um, there's a, there's a, um, what's the, what's the word here? Sprocket. There's a sprocket here that goes, and then there's like a little drive shaft that goes into here. And then it pulls this chain ring around it where the tire is, so. But the front is interesting. The front doesn't have anything going to the back. So the front just has a, it's like a hubless, well, I mean, it is a hubless motor, but uh, but there's no drivetrain going to the front. So um, to do that, I guess the, there must be a motor in here that drives this. And this stays stationary while the tires start spinning and stuff. Um, and then, like, I guess it's held up by the frame on the side here. So there must be, I don't know, I don't know what these are connected to, but there must be some kind of support in between the, the carbon fiber. Thinking, thinking. <laughs> It's got the controller there, the battery there. Some twist grip right here. It's pretty familiar, right? Seat here. This metal thing is the seat here. And then um, I guess there's a power switch right there. But yeah, so it's it's a two-wheel drive bike. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's interesting. It's a very little shock absorber back there. I'm not sure what that is. That looks like some kind of maybe a relay or something. But man, this thing, I don't know. I, you know, it doesn't make a nerds out when you see stuff like this. So, <laughs> I always like to know how things work. You know? But yeah, the front is really cool. It's cool how, it's cool how the, uh, it, um, it doesn't have a chain going to the back. Um, you can do that with electric because your power is coming from here, right? There must be a, there must be some kind of power wire somewhere. It feeds that and moves this, or maybe not. I don't know. Um, maybe just maybe it just free wheels. I'm not sure. Maybe there's no motor in there. It could just free wheel. It's a good question. But I guess they just wanted to make it look like the back. I guess. So like this space, this basically supports the wheel right here. All this is pretty interesting. So it may be a one, it may it may just be rear wheel drive, um, but you could totally make a two wheel drive. You know, you can stick a little motor in here, which I that, that's what I thought it did. I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't look like you could cram a motor in there, but I you probably could. You know, I don't really see any power wires going into it, so I. I'm assuming this is just a rear wheel drive bike, but I was saying if you did put a motor in there, you can make a two wheel drive, you know. It's really cool. All right.